we're all geared up. We're ready to hop in the water and uh, it's looking pretty clear. So Kier and I are gonna hop in and see what we can find. Ryder, you ready to rip, buddy? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. I saw you get that one and I was like, I saw the other one down there and I was like, come on, dude, you spooked them, <laughs> darn it. And then I, I started swimming towards that other way and I saw him and I was like, just kind of hung out under there, right in the head. I was like, yeah, <laughs> So sick, dude. Are you kidding me? Back to back. Yeah. <laughs> California Spain Lobster. Good job, dude. Yeah, that, that, what a day, huh? Yeah. So what you do is you measure from between the horns right here to the back right here. As long as it doesn't go over, which this one does not go over, it is good. It's a legal lobster. Um, if it goes over and it's touching, my guess is you should probably let it go. I call those ones clickers. You definitely don't want to keep them. <laughs> Hop in the water and see if we can get some sheep's head. Nice sheep's head there. He knew who I was. <laughs> Let's see if I can get him on this side. Better. They're really tough to get in the shallow water. You, know, you think sheep's head is easy fishing. It's only about eight feet deep and they don't want anything to do with a big human swimming around. So pretty stoked to get one for dinner. Let's get a couple more. This is a cool thing about spear fishing, free diving. You find all kinds of cool stuff. This is a sea urchin and what we call a sea egg. So these are, the, you can see the spines on it. When they die, all their spines fall off and they have this really brittle skeleton that depending on how, what kind it is and how long it's been out there, they, uh, they could be different colors. So this would be a really pretty thing to take home, show the wife and kids. That's actually a really good eating fish. Most people would never shoot this or catch and eat this. These are delicious. One of the best eating fish. People forget about these ones. This is a little bonus. This is a, uh, a look down or a moon fish. And you can see how skinny it is. They're super thin and 
you see that big school came by twice the first time I missed them. And they're moving so fast in the shallow water. But luckily I was able to get this one. These things cook up delicious. Crazy how much is going on down there, isn't it? The technique when it's dirty like this is just to go and sit and lay on the bottom because fish are gonna see you before you see them. So if you just go sit in one place and just let them come to you. There's a couple fish there that were probably legal size, but that was my first dive. So I'm gonna wait and see if we can get something a little bit better here. so that uh, we don't attract the sharks that I know are here. <laughs> I just can't see them. That is exactly what we were looking for. Today we're spearfishing for lionfish. They're very poisonous and they're also an invasive species and this is the only type of fish without a spearfish on the island. So we're gonna go down and see what we can find and bring you guys with us. What? Yeah. See ya. <laughs> So we just saw our first lionfish of the day. This is actually a really good sized one. We got him down there at about 40 feet. So these obviously are invasive and poisonous. So these top spines here and the ones down here on the bottom, you do not want to touch. Just to be safe, it's better to just keep them away from everyone and keep them away from yourself when you're fearing for them. And make sure someone's on the boat to get them so you don't have to just throw them up there and have them flopping around because these bad boys will ruin your day. Check these things out. Pretty crazy, the blue coloring on them. Didn't see a whole lot, but we had to go kind of deep for this one. Um, off the ledge, shot him probably around 75 feet on the sand. Got a halibut on the on the spear. We're gonna put him in the boat. 